subscribe. Hey, I'm Ren. I love slow motion. I've always, I've always dreamt of being able to play around with a phantom camera. That's the, the most high speed camera on the market. When we were shooting our Fallout video several years ago with Gavin from the Slow Mo Guys, I got to, you know, have that on set, but I didn't really get to just do whatever I wanted with it. Today, my dream is coming true. My friend Richard Ryan from Full Mag is coming to the studio. He has a whole day free and he owns a phantom camera. So we're gonna do some crazy stuff. Okay, what's special about a Phantom Flex? So the Phantom Flex shoots 4K at a, just under a thousand frames per second. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen his channel before, he basically just shoots guns at really, really high frame rates. My favorite is when you shoot like the 50 cal and you actually see the bullet leaving the... Yeah, the that's, I mean, it's, it's so funny because I hated math in school. <laughs> and now okay. it's like, oh, I can figure out like the perfect frame rate for resolution for this shot on those lines. But the Classic. Flex just makes it easy when you're doing Fun things like this, where it's like, oh, okay, let's just, yeah, let's just do 4K and we'll figure it out at around 1,000 frames per second. <laughs> Sounds good. So we're the studio gang today, right? We're, we're the ones hanging out? Yeah. Subconsciously, what's happening when you watch slow motion is it's making you smarter. If our camera, the red, is like a Porsche, our Porsche can go 240 miles an hour and do 240 frames per second. Richard Ryan's bringing over a race car that can go 1,000 miles an hour. It's pretty fast. Hardware-wise, this is basically the equivalent of like, a scientific instrument. And the reason it, it's like a scientific instrument is because it's letting you record the world at a very high temporal resolution. You have spatial resolution. Your TV screen, your phone, your computer screen, these all have spatial resolutions. Yes. Yeah, what you're seeing right now. So you've heard like 1080p and there's 4K. So temporal resolution wise is how many frames per second you're getting, how many images time is being broken down to as time passes. Most cameras record at 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second. So this camera's temporal resolution at 4K, four times higher than what our red can do. So what does this mean? Well, your brain can process at a certain speed and the world is moving at a certain speed around you. You get 10 seconds to think about something that you otherwise would only have one second to observe and think about. It simulates you being smarter and thinking faster when you're watching something. You can see more detail, you can see more temporal detail, you can see cause and effect more clearly. You have time to think about and critically analyze structures of things playing out in front of your eyes that you otherwise might not be able to do when things are playing at normal speed. Yeah, yeah this, would, this would do more damage probably. Because it's more blunt? Blunt, yeah. On top of it, so uh, you can at least maybe cure it a little bit. I think it'll look good with that orange in this. Yeah, thing. so yeah, that's what we're thinking is to just like smash it with the, the plastic on it. Okay, cool. We got it. We want to smash that like button. All right, we got our ice here and we've decided we're going to burn it with some gasoline. But before we do that, we got to set up some cameras and figure out the exact protocol for how we're going to do this so that we have the maximum amount of safety while still also delivering something cool. Phantom Flex filming at 4K at 938 frames per second. We've got the FLIR camera shooting at 30 frames per second, which is a thermal camera. We're gonna see a really big difference between the cold blue ice and the hot red fire. And of course, we got the ADD shooting at 60 Don't FPS. <laughs> now there's a smudge! Oh my God, dude. Technology is great. I, I'm just afraid that like, I'll hit it and I'll end up just knocking it, I'll hit it into the wall and all of our cameras are pointed right here. Do we have a fire extinguisher yeah. available out here? Okay, ready? And three, two, one. left of the button. How did, how did it look? Looks great. Great. Man, it felt so good to smash ice and fire. It felt like I was Jon Snow and Danny. You felt like a woman? Yeah. How did fire and ice and smashing that like button facilitate that for you. Hey, you know what? I felt powerful and that's why I said what I said. I would say for this, let's, let's focus on the, uh, the sword itself. Do you want me to light the sword on fire? Yeah, for sure. That's pretty sweet. Dude, right? flaming sword! <laughs> that's sweet! It's epic, right? Looks like it's just morphing between images. We're like the sheets, like, it's almost like a laminar flow. Like, opening. Was I the prince that was promised? 
No. <laughs> I, want, I want to see what it looks like when I when I spin it. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, oh you can see the gas flying up. Yeah. It's pretty cool stuff. You want to do one more goofy thing with a slow motion camera? Of course. If you spit, it'll be way funnier. Way funnier. The more particles, the more movement, the better. Yeah. See, it's, it's, way, it's way better, right? Oh my God, that's so weird. Look at all the spit flying out of your mouth. <laughs> See? So weird. Oh my, that's so, so weird. Good. Right? Oh my How does God. my face even move like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was cool. I think we got some really cool footage. Great use of having Richard Ryan by the studio today. I think we got some cool stuff. And it's like, getting all this stuff is super cool, but I feel like we're missing something. I want to see what paint drying at a thousand frames per second looks like.